Hello. Um, today what we're going to do is restream some castanets. Uh, I have a castanet handle from Black Swamp Percussion here. I have two clams that make the castanet sound. What you're going to need, scissors, a ruler of some sort. This one only goes up to 10 inches, but that's just fine. Some needle nose pliers. Some quarter inch braided elastic. Uh, you can find this at Michael's or Hobby Lobby or any of the craft stores, Joann's. And then some guides for the elastic. So what I did over here was take paper clips and just cut them with my needle nose pliers. Uh, and then I bent very, very small, you know, hooks that you can put into the elastic and it kind of guides it through the castanets a little easier uh, rather than trying to you know fit this material into these very small holes so um, yeah so those are all the materials we need next what we're gonna do is measure just about 10 inches or so for your elastic you just need one piece per handle or per you know castanet. So I'm going to measure this 10 inches. Cut that with my scissors and we're off to the races. So then you take your pre-made guides, you hook one of them into the elastic. It's okay. We're going to cut this piece off later. So it's not going to ruin anything. Through. Might take some finagling. All right, there's number one. All right, and there is number two. So they should just be two ends, just like this. Okay. Then what you want to do is take both of your clams for your castanets and thread each side into each respective hole. So you're gonna pull the first guide down, you're gonna pull the second guide down, and that is the right hand side. You're gonna do the same to the left. Okay, pulling that down making sure both of these ends are nice and even. Cool. So we're also going to leave just a little gap in this notch and we'll come back to that a little bit later. Um, then we're going to take our handle just like this and we want the castanets to be resting on this little piece of felt right here. So we're going to thread our elastic through, again, each respective hole, but this time on the handles. So then everything will be connected, just like that. So everything's connected. The elastic is coming out of the bottom of the handles, which is awesome. Um, so now what we're gonna do is make a couple twists, just like this, and thread that around where you see the slits on the side of the clams, just like that, okay? And then what we're gonna do is put the elastic through that gap that we made at the very top of the top clamp, okay? We're gonna do that to both sides. Then around this point is where we wanna pull everything nice and snug, or everything nice and kind of cinched up. We don't want the castanets to move around. All right, then we have a hole right there, just below where the clams are sitting. So what we're going to do is thread both of our pieces of elastic through that. And this is about the final step, just about. I said about twice. It's okay. Cool. Great. Now, for the maybe not so fun part, uh, there is a piece or there is a, a threaded slit. Um, 
it is part of the screw right in there that we need to get both of the pieces of elastic threaded through. Um, so this part is where you take your needle nose pliers like this and you kind of feed the elastic through those two threads, making sure the elastic is nice and flush on either side. So what I like to do is kind of pull forward ever so slightly and then try to wedge both of these pieces of elastic in there. It might take a couple tries to do this. I know it took me uh, <laughs> more times than I would like to admit to do this. So just be patient with yourself. Here's what it should look like at the very end. And then what I'm gonna do is just wedge my scissors in there like this, cut it off. There we go, heard the snip. Awesome, cool. And then adjusting the tension is just super easy with this screw right here adjust the tension, make it looser, it makes it tighter. And look at that, your castanets are all fixed.